to happen for you to release your book? Gee, I don't actually know that. What I say has to happen is that there's so many different transmissions from Quetzalcoatl that I need help in organizing them. They're almost totally organized and it's so close to finished and yet I don't do it. So what really has to happen is probably some level of self-love or some feeling of support or some place to settle for more than three weeks or um, yeah I've already paid for the publisher. It's pretty well finished. It doesn't flow as well as I'd like and I really want help with that. Somebody to go over it with me and say this would be way better in this chapter. Let's take this out completely. It just doesn't, it can be in the next book. Mm. And that's my excuse and I don't even know if that's true. But um, I think it's because it hasn't been time. People have to be willing to, to move into the new earth. And so far the old earth is still attractive, you know, we still, for instance, he talks about not owning anything. Everything is shared. Now, knocking down the fences and letting the deer go through your yard is quite a bit different from um, letting anybody use your chainsaw and maybe never seeing it again. Mm. But, you know, like this is where it has to go. We have to actually recognize that that guy over there that needs that chainsaw is actually me. And if I can say, well, he needs my chainsaw, therefore I need my chainsaw, I better give it to me because that part of me is in need. We've got to get to that point. And I'm not sure that we're really willing, or maybe it's just my judgment. But a lot of people have told me it just wasn't time yet. Mm. So my guess is time is pretty close to now. So I'm, I'm more than willing, but I, I actually need to settle down and sit with the book with all of my papers around me and someone saying, get at it, for a long enough time that it happens. Mm. And I just keep moving. So it hasn't happened. So yeah, the universe is gonna support me because I have a big job. And the crystals are here, and they support me, and Zach supports me, and Quetzalcoatl supports me. Mm. I have a lot of metaphysical support. Mm. I am never, ever going to suffer. Uh, I'm not so sure that I support me. That I really believe that I can do this by myself. And I can't do it by myself. There has to be, I think it was, I forget if he said 16 or 17,000 people have to be my support team wow. and agree to rebuild the watersheds. That's not a lot of people. But then from that, everybody gets on the bandwagon. It's mm -hmm. kind of like actually just realizing that everybody is you. Why not lay down the arms, knock down the fences in your heart and love them? And then the waters will flow more purely and more quickly and more deeply and they will reach the ocean of love. That's all I can say.